the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video 16 fold geometrical figures let us take uh, a square sized paper right and uh, by folding this paper 16 times we will be able to teach a number of geometrical shapes let us see how to do that now the first fold is that I make this into two parts vertically so I make this into two parts vertically and the second one is I fold it in such a way that I make this paper into two halves horizontally okay so now we can mark these lines fold number one and fold two now the third fold is you make the one half into two equal parts vertically so that is fold number three now fold number four is take the other half of the sheet which you get vertically and make it into two halves so that is fold number four now you fold the paper horizontally in such a way that you make one half you get horizontally into two equal halves okay and draw that line so what is this fold let us start fold number one fold number two fold number three fold number four and this is fold number five and what is fold number six you take the upper portion of the sheet that you get horizontally and make it into two halves now this is fold number six right now you connect the corners of the sheet you make the sheet into two halves diagonally so what we get uh, this is one diagonal fold so this is fold number seven fold number seven and then you fold it uh, diagonally on the other side so this is fold number Eight. this is fold number eight right this is fold number eight okay for uh, repetition to understand this fold number one two three four five six seven and eight okay now what we do take the vertices of the square and bring it to the midpoint of the square midpoint of the square so this is uh, fold number nine this is fold number nine and similarly bring the other vertex into the center this is fold number fold number 10 fold number 10 and then bring the third vertex into the midpoint of the square this is fold number 11 
and then you bring the last vertex into the middle of the square that is fold number 12 that is fold number 12 okay now we get uh, an inner square within the outer square so each side of the inner square is again divided into two halves so what we do again we bring the vertex of each side to touch the midpoint of each side of the inner square the midpoint of each side of the inner square so now this fold is 13 now similarly you go to the other vertex and let it uh, touch the midpoint of the side of the inner square and this is uh, fold number 14 and similarly you take the other vertex and then it becomes fold number 15 right and the final one is you take the last vertex and let it meet the midpoint of uh, one of the sides of uh, the inner square so this is fold number 16 okay it's fun now let us start again the whole process let us uh, carefully identify the folds this is fun fold number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen okay now let us see what we can teach now we have an octagon we have an octagon now we still have an octagon we still have an octagon but the sides are not equal right one two three four five six seven eight okay now you look at here now we have one two three four five six this is a hexagon this is hexagon now how many sides we have we have folded uh, one uh, side inside now one two three four five this becomes a pentagon so we have octagon hexagon and a pentagon now this is a square now this is a rectangle right and uh, this is a triangle this is a triangle and then you can teach a number of mathematical concepts for example now you take uh, the sheet what you get now is a trapezium and uh, you get now a parallelogram now you can uh, use these lines to explain the concepts of intersecting lines you can talk about parallel lines you can talk about uh, the angles also like uh, you know right angle obtuse angle acute angle many many concepts in geometry can be taught through this uh, paper folding